The second letter that Paul wrote to the church in Corinth is more than just an informative work. The Apostle Paul spent more than a year and a half planting, ministering to the believers in Corinth. And his love for and concern for them is very evident throughout the letter. As in his first letter, he will continue to address internal problems with scriptural and pragmatic direction, but now finds himself also unfortunately having to defend his position as an apostle. And his serious tone and tension, well, it's palpable. This isn't the warmest of Paul's writings and must have been a difficult one to pen. But how he begins is what I want to draw your attention to. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3. All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is our merciful Father and the source of all comfort. He comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort others. When they are troubled, we will be able to give them the same comfort God has given us. So, although this will be, will be the warmest letter written by Paul, you'll find it laced with mercy, laced with comfort. Before Paul gets into the nitty gritty, before he deals with the unpleasantries and defends his position, he points them to the God of mercy and the source of all comfort. And Paul knew this source intimately and had received mercy and comfort of every type of trouble and had learned to be a conduit of Jesus's mercy and comfort as well. So maybe you have to deal with an upcoming problem, address a difficult situation, defend yourself with an opponent, or simply, simply find yourself in trouble. If this is you, May I encourage you to turn to Jesus? Turn to the God of all comfort who is more than willing and more than able to comfort you in your own affliction. And may this not simply be for your own well-being, but for those around you, that you may comfort and display mercy to others when the Lord calls upon you. Know this, you are greatly loved, so go and greatly love. <music>